Hey guys, how you doing? It's Keptik here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Sunday. And today I just want to go over some Active Directory stuff, like what scenarios can you create on your home labs if you're trying to build a home lab and you're working with um, Active Directory and users and computers. Obviously, if you're, new to channel, if you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. Um, before I go into my my uh, demonstration, I would like to first of all I like to say thank you to everyone that joined B Size New York yesterday. I spoke in the cybersecurity event, and hopefully I could speak in three more events this year. We'll see. Uh, I'll put a screenshot here somewhere. And uh, yeah, I had fun. Uh, I met a lot of people. We had a full house yesterday. Like literally, there was no seats available <laughs> when I spoke, and it was like so many people. I like, go over a hundred plus people. Um, thank you guys. I appreciate you guys for showing up. Uh, hopefully I'll see you guys later on this year with other events. Um, yeah. So let me share my screen with you and go over some stuff today. Okay. Give me a second. Screen one. So yeah. So right now I'm, uh, what I'm doing is I created an account called Bob. So what I'm going to do is just to show you what happened. So a lot of these companies, they have um, root policy, right? Obviously. So you're probably wondering like, uh, how do you get locked out from your computer you get locked out because of group policy. So group policy locks you out, right? So if you're a sysadmin, not help desk. If you're a sysadmin, unless you have access to this, um, like you may not have access to this, but you set up group policy and group policy, it allows you to set up account lockout threshold. What that means basically is how many times can you log in before you get locked out, right? So I'm over here logging in as Bob and I, I know the password. I know the password is welcome capital W welcome one, right? Because I created the account on the left-hand side, you see my domain, my domain and active director using computers. And I have Bob right here on the left-hand side and Bob is trying to log in right now. And basically we have, we have, we have his information right here. And you can see here, bad password, last, 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 last bad password attempt was 423 2023 because i was trying to replicate his lockout account i was trying to lock him out basically last login is on point look 1158 because look it's 1159 right now so how did i get this attributor editor enable on this you know on this on this domain controller basically i, I view view advanced features right because when you go into users here and you go into bob that that this Attributor editor is not a lot. It's not there by default, right? So you have to go in here and then view advanced features, and you go to users and go to Bob and attributor editor, and it's right there now. So what I'm trying to do today is I'm trying to replicate account lockout thrustles. So how do you do that? So I'm in group policy right now, and I do show all, and you see all these things right here: three invalid attempts, password age is 40, 42 days, minimum password age one day. Pastor Link. So like, this is this is where you're probably like, oh, oh, I see now. So that's why whenever I go to a job and I can't have a password that's seven characters, it has to be longer than seven characters. So that's why in some jobs, it may be 12 characters, maybe 14 characters, maybe 15 characters, because obviously you wouldn't want anyone to, um, you know, grab your password. Right. So like this, this is a real life example. Um Right. So that's why we go to this website. Have I been pawned? Right. And you, you put your email address here and you put passwords here as well. Like you, you can put a password here. Uh, like I put like uh, P password one, two, three exclamation point. Right. Is it? Like, oh, no, this has been pawned two thousand three hundred and forty times. Right. So that's why like it's very important. That you have a very long password. Like if I make a password, like um, if I go into Dino Pass. And I got over this before, right? Dino pass. And I go to Dino pass and I go to another strong password and I copy this and I'll put this over here. Let's, let's see what happens if I put it in here. Good news. no pa Nothing has been pumped for this one. This is a good password to use. So that's why it's very important that you have a long password because you don't want anyone trying to hack you or trying to get into your system. That's why I recommend like, um, like one password or another third party application, try to have some sort of application. Uh, obviously, uh, I, I can't really talk about LastPass, but you know, you have something, right? So, all right, so going back to this, I'm gonna sign out and I'm gonna try to lock, lock, lock out Bob because Bob, Bob is Bob's just having a bad day, right? He's like, oh man, I'm logging in, Kevin. 
trying to log in again. Trying to log in again. Trying to log in again. He got locked out. So it's three three attempts. You saw that it took three attempts because I changed it to three attempts. Originally, it was one attempt. <laughs> so then Bob is like going, Bob is like screaming and yelling. And you're like, I can't log in. I need to log in right now. Fix it right now. God damn it. Fix it. He's like, he's upset, right? So he's calling you right now. And you're on the phone. And you're like, uh-oh, uh-oh. He's having a bad day, right? So but you call Bob. I was like, okay, give me a second. Let me, let me take a look at your account, Bob. Let me tell you. Oh, you're, oh, okay. I'm going to unlock your account right now. Okay. Bob, can you try logging in again? So, yeah, yeah, sure, Kevin, sure. Then he logs in. Welcome on. And uh, it should let him in. And he should be uh, fine and dandy after that. Should be good to go after that. So that's one thing you could replicate on Active Directory is a locking out accounts. That is common in help desk and IT support. That happens a lot in, in IT support. So that's how it is. And then sometimes you, you will get a call. And I'm going to sign out again. You want to get a call from HR. HR is going to be like, oh, yeah, Bob, that, that Bob, yeah, I need you to terminate his account immediately. He no longer works for us. So when we say termination, we don't delete the account. We disable the account. So we're going to go back here, and I'm going to right-click on it and do disable account. So now it has, like, that little icon pointing down. You're like, oh, what does that mean? That means, that means his account is disabled. So he may be able to log in because there's cash credentials stored on this, com on this computer. So he may be able to log in. We'll see. Right. It, sh it may allow it may log like let him log in. It may not let him log in because there's crash cash credentials. So what that means is your password is locally stored on the computer, right? So if I go here and I do a restart. I'm just gonna reboot it real quick because I'm trying to I'm trying to replicate this issue, right? So I, lo I don't want him to log in at all. I literally don't want him to log in at all. So sometimes, um, specifically like home labs, like if you're making a change on the back end, it doesn't work sometimes. You have to like restart it or run GP update force or do some changes on it. And it, it, it should see the domain controller after that. So let me try logging in again. And if it doesn't work, it, it, it's fine. Look at that. See, the account has been disabled. So now I was like, oh, shoot, Bob just got terminated. Now he can't log in. Uh oh, right. So. You could play around with this, like literally, like this is what I show in my other videos, like enable account. All right, Bob, Bob, Bob just got back from the company. He left the company. Uh, to he went, he went to a better company. Um, he didn't like that company for some reason. He came back to this company now, but he came back at, with a higher level position now. And HR is like, yeah, I need you to update his title. So what up, Bob? Organization? Yeah. Um, I want him. Uh, he's gonna be our director director so can you change his job title for me and you change it there and oh and also can you enable his account okay so let's try to log in again so bob is trying to log in and bob is trying to um you know he just came back from from leaving the other company but he got promoted as a director coming back so he's just trying to get logged in right now at this point And they let him in. So this is this is how you replicate issues, right? And then you sign out again. And you're working with you're working with your your, your CTO and your IT manager, and you're trying to uh, run updates and patches. And you have all these users and clients that that they all want to log in on a weekend. And you're like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna we're gonna allow some people to log in, some people not to log in because we're going to do updates on some people's computers. So then you have a small amount of people that you want to update your computer. So we're going to go back to Bob again. So now I'm going to go to Bob again and I'm going to go to the account, right? And I'm going to go to login hours. And today's Sunday, right? So I, I don't want him to log in at all on Sunday. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to put login denied. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to hit apply. And let's just see what happens if Bob tries to log in. And again, it may not work. You may have to sign out and sign back in, or you may have to restart the, the VM for this to work. So sometimes VMs are a little like they're hit and miss. So it may it may let him log in, it may not. We'll see. So let him log in, right? So that's sometimes you, you really have to like you may have to restart or you may have to um sign out and try again. There we go. So 
your account has time restrictions that prevent you from signing in at this time. Please try again. So he's like, Bob's calling you, screaming and yelling at you on, on a on a Sunday morning, and man, like you're just scratching your head. Man, I just I just had a cup of coffee, man. Like the heck, what happened? He's like, oh, I can't log in. And I'm like, oh, let me check the back end. And you go, you go to Active Directory, you you go to Bob, right? You look at his account, like a login hours. You're like, oh, uh, oh, I see now. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing updates on your on your on your computer today. So, uh, we we, we blocked. Whole, the whole Sunday, so you can't log in. Is that what's going on? Yeah, yeah, take a break or whatever. So some companies will implement this. Some companies will not implement this. It really depends on the company, right? So I hit OK again. And we'll see if Bob's able to log in again. He's able to log in. So now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to replicate one more issue, and then we'll wrap it up after that. So HR calls you. Yeah, Bob's a consultant. Um, I need you to hit, I need you to expire his account. So his last day, his last day was um, a couple of days ago. So his last day was on uh, was on Friday. And he's still trying to log in. So let's let's see what happens when he tries to log in. Say so you may have to sign out and sign back in. Yeah, so I'm gonna sign out again. So sometimes VMs are a little a little finicky, <laughs> as we say in IT land. So let's try again. The user account has expired. So then Bob is like getting frustrated with you again. But you tell Bob, "Oh yeah, you're 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 uh, you're a consultant. So your account was only valid for a certain amount of days. So I need you to put in a ticket or talk to whoever hire you. Have them put in a ticket, and then I will extend your account." So then you 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 get that ticket coming in, right? You get that ticket coming in. Bob is like pissed off for some reason. <laughs> He's not having a good day. And, and then you're like, okay, Bob, can you try logging in again, please? And Bob's trying to log in again. And Bob's like, okay, let me let me try logging in again. Bob is good to go after that. So these are like common things you could try on a VM. Don't be afraid to break your VM and start all over again. Worst case scenario when it comes to doing VMs, right? And I'm talking about specifically doing VMs. You could go in here, right? And I'll show you. Uh, you can take a, a snapshot. So you hit OK, right? So then we take a snapshot of, of this. It's basically you're doing like a like a clone of this VM. So then if it ever breaks, you could always come back to a snapshot, right? You could go here and you go here and, um, you know, we, we literally like open up your snapshot and go based, go based on that, right? So these snapshots will help you out. Uh, I'm going to shut down my VM. I'm going to open up virtual box, right? And right, right here, like you have like normal start, you have um your virtual machine right here, right? Your settings start, so like you could always go to your snapshots if you if you really like it's like if it's messed up for some reason you could go to your snapshots. So like session information, view, take a take a take a screenshot. You can take a screenshot if you want, right? So like I always recommend like for for someone that if their if their computer is, is messed up for some reason take a like take a, a um a snapshot so you can go back in time if you ever have a weird issue you can go back in time so there's right here there's all these other tools as well you know this, this is like snapshots right so you have a snapshot right here so if you ever want to if you want to use a snapshot you can right so you could restore it right. So those things are very important. I'm going to stop sharing now. I'm going to shut down this VM.
But that is group policy in a nutshell. So you're you're probably wondering like, oh, so oh, so that's how people manage their password. Yes, we we have policies in place for passwords because we don't want someone using the same password the, the name of their cat every single time or the name of their dog every single time, right? It doesn't make any sense. So for security reasons, we have to make you change your password, password history, all right? So that's very important. Anyway, with that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful Sunday. And I hope this helps you out. Take care. Peace. Later. Bye.